dollies. I hope you all are having a great day. So today's review is um, Polyp Alora. I've been so excited to obtain this doll. So she's finally here. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's talk about her wig. Her wig color is black, but with some... I don't know. It depends how you look at her. You can kind of see there's like some dark purple streaks in it. Very, very nice color. And the style is to the front we have two long um, strands and to the back it's supposed to be short. However, as you can see, it is uneven. I don't know. I guess I was not lucky. When it came to the wig, you all know, like, like I mentioned in previous videos, that not all wigs are the same. So if you do obtain her, maybe you will get a better wig or maybe it might be worse or the same. So I wanted to point that out. So I'm not really happy about that. And then she has bangs to the front. Okay, I would say that this wig is very, very soft. Um, but other than that, um, I don't see any other problems. Like I just mentioned, just the unevenness. Um, so yeah. So let's talk about her face up. So she has these really cool, striking eyes. I don't know really what color to say they are. But I could say they really capture your attention. And her face up itself is just beautiful. It's very smoky-eyed, gothic theme. And um, she has like plum cheeks and a plum lip. And the lip is matte. There is no gloss to it. And just look how pretty she is. And she has full eyebrows. Okay. I know a lot of people were comparing her to Sila and um, Laura. I don't have Laura to compare. But I do see there are differences. Oops. So I'm trying to show you the eye color. I mean the the lid color and it's a bronzy color and I admire that when I do things like that I just it makes me so happy makes my pull apart heart happy and so it's really really pretty and it's matte so now let's open uh oh looks like this one got stuck so when this happens I'm glad it's actually happening on webcam I mean on webcam on camera I can't talk today um the trick to this that's always worked for me is you move the lever to the back that you see here, move it, okay, left and right, okay, and then try pulling it up. Where is it? My you okay. And then try pulling it up, see? So again, moving it left and right and then putting it up, see? And now it's open. And now her hair is messy, but whatever it's okay I showed you that so don't freak out it's not broken just play with it a little and then you will get it to open again okay let's talk about her stock so her stock she it consists of different parts so let's talk about her blouse um, very beautiful um, detailing to this um, blouse we have some flower lacing here to the front and it's really poofy here, up here to the sleeves, and to the bottom we have these ruffles. And it's nicely fitted, really good cotton quality. Nothing negative I could say about it. This is very beautiful. And then we have her beautiful corset. Wow, one of my favorite pieces to this stock is this corset. We have these front beads here. They're not going to be easy to fall off. Really nicely made. And then to the back, we could tie it up just like a natural real corset and to the bottom we have this furry trim to it very nice now let's talk about this petticoat so she comes with this checkered petticoat very nicely made it is thick this part is actually thick um, very nicely made and then we have these two little um, where's the other one? Oh, there we go two triangle pieces here fur fake fur and on the inside we have the checkered theme again. Okay. And it's like that all around. And then underneath that we have her short tool skirt. Okay. And then we have her tight stretch tights. And then her cute Mary Jane like shoes. Nicely fitted or not easy to fall off. One thing I didn't mention that I just noticed right now is her nails. She got her nails done. 
same color as her eyelids. I love when they do that. Okay, and what else? She comes with an extra outfit. So she comes with this um, Wednesday Adams like theme dress. I love it. Nicely made. It, it's it's very fitted on her. And on the back, it's attached by Velcro, cotton material. Very nicely made. Like oh, just so nicely made. And then she comes with this skull bowl. And then it has the clip on thing to the back. And the skull itself is like very lightweight. It's not like heavy like some others. Okay. And besides that, she comes with her trading card, which is so cool because it's actually in English this time. So you can let me read it to you all. Training the animals is my favorite part of our gothic circus. Watching them amaze the crowd with our tricks makes my heart sing. Feels like so. And that's how it looks like. So cool. So pretty. So she's definitely a circus themed doll. And that is basically all. So let's talk about this doll further. So what would I have to tell you about this doll? So pros. Let's talk about pros and cons. Pros is that I am very happy that she comes with really good quality stock. This outfit and the second one is just awesome, 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 awesome material. So I like I really love that. Another pro that I like about her is her face up. It's just very unique and she's just so pretty. And Overall, I think this doll, like the way that she was put together, just came out very nicely. So that's the pros. Cons, her wig, like I, see, like I showed you all, not really my favorite. So, I don't know, not really liking that. Another con I might see, that I don't think it's a pure con, but to some it might be, is that she may be very similar. Why does this hair keep coming to the front? She might be very similar to Pull Up Laura. I've seen photos of them and I don't think they are too similar. Um, they're like, they, you could definitely tell they're sisters but they're not identical. So I don't think you'll be disappointed, I would say, if you have both. So, but some might, some might not like that. I don't know, I don't have Pull Up Laura. She didn't really call my attention, which is why I don't have her in my collection. So that's another con, I would say. And another one would be the price. So the price of this doll is $150 on the Pulip Groove website on the US site. And if you try to get her somewhere else, that's the price you would try to, that, that they will sell her to you. She's not any lower. Why? Because she's a collaboration doll. And two is because I'm assuming it's because she comes with extra stuff. So the price may not be uh, too welcoming for some. So you have to really think about it. I would say that she's worth it. I think, you know, I don't regret this purchase. But if the price is something you're not looking into, then I would say try Pull Lip Laura. I think that will be an alternative. So that's my recommendation. Um, try getting her a Pull Lip, the Groove website, or ask Pull Lip Style to see if they have any quantities left because I think they had some. So that's basically what I have to say about this doll. So I hope you all enjoyed this review and I will see you all next time. Please, please, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate and ask. Okay, bye-bye.